Hey guys, what's up, it's Craig. How's everybody doing tonight? Um, so, this is, uh, just a kind of, of another fun what if video, if you will. But, this time, it's, uh, actually on something that I really think would be cool if it could happen, but, let's be honest, this, um, subject especially isn't going to happen. But, it still would be cool if it ever could in some way, shape, or form in the universe. And it's on the subject of what if, uh, Reaper Owens, um, fill, filled in for Scott Weiland in Velvet Revolver. Now, again, as I've said, this is never going to happen because Slash and Duff are busy with Guns N' Roses obligations. Not to mention, uh, Reaper has his head in one million and one other project himself. But, let's we'll just examine that prospect for a minute, shall we? Um, now, in terms of, uh, Reaper being a good replacement for Scott, well, not replacement because nobody can ever replace him in Velvet or the Stone Temple Pilots. But, as a good stand-in, I think uh, Reaper could do a decent job. Because let's keep in mind, he's done it twice before. Replacing uh, Rob Alford and uh, Judas Priest from 96 to 2003. And Matt Barnwell and I served from 2003 to 2007. So... I think that this, if it ever did happen, would be kind of cool because it would at last a while Velvet Revolver's music to be represented by the four surviving members and it would have uh, the recognizable name um, because of Reaper. But again, let's be honest, this can't happen because Slash and Duff are busy with Guns N' Roses this tour schedule. And Reaper has his head in way too many other projects to ever commit to something like that. But, um, I guess I'd like to hear from you guys on this one. If it ever could happen, would you want to see Reaper Owens, um, take on the very arduous task of standing in for Scott in Velvet Revolver. Again, you guys know as well as I do that this is never going to happen, but again, it's just a fun little what if video. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, catch you down the road.